The next stage is to label the bow. All of our bows are labelled by hand using an ink pen. So we seal the wood first and then we can use a calligraphy pen to write onto the wood. We seal the wood with the glue so that the ink doesn't run into the fibres of the wood and produce a smudgy finish. When the ink has thoroughly dried, we then seal over that and then the bow can be varnished. There are many different ways of varnishing bows and initially the first few coats are rubbed on with a cloth and buffed up and that produces a very acceptable finish. The next job is to cut and fit a leather grip. All of our grips nowadays are hand stitched onto the bow and on the back of the bow we make a series of little pads of leather which give the grip a much more comfortable feel in the hand when you're shooting the bow. We use a simple template which has got a series of holes marked in the end and a curved edge. We roll the top and bottom edges of the grip over so that you get a clean edge and we do that using a double sided adhesive so that the leather stays in place while we stitch it onto the grip. Once the grip has been fitted to the bow, we're ready to stitch it on. And to do this we use a strong nylon thread and a stitch pattern that we've developed over the years that holds the grip firmly in place and looks reasonably neat and tidy. There are probably thousands of different ways of fitting grips onto bows, but we've settled on one that we're comfortable with. Most of the customers seem to like the style of grip we use. They look smart and they last. You'll be able to see underneath the grip the labelling which gives the bracing height, the draw weight, the draw length and the bow length. All useful bits of information you may need to refer to later.